Hiya gamers, this is Ferdinand the Cardboard Stacker and welcome to How to Play Tavern Tussle from Brewery Games, a set collection beat em up card game for 2 to 4 players ages 7 and up that plays in about 10 to 20 minutes. Game design and art for Tavern Tussle is done by Luis Brewe. This is a learn in a turn video where you learn as the game plays. In a turn or two or as many needed. We divided this video into chapters. If you want to view a specific rule from the game, you can find the list of rules in the description below. Have a question or something nice to say? Leave a comment! And it would be a wonderful and tremendous help if you can give this video a like and subscribe to the channel. Thanks! The tavern is often filled with interesting characters. Your goal is to tell the most interesting story. Craft them by using different themes, but be careful as your opponents might have a disagreement with you. Here's the setup. For this video, we'll be following a 3 player game. Shuffle and deal out a taverner card face up to each player. Place the rest into the box. Each taverner has a special ability and a reminder of how many points you can earn at the end of the game. Gather and shuffle the hero cards based on the number of players in your game into a deck. Since we have 3 players, look at the back of the hero cards and use the one with 2 and 3 players. Setup is complete. The game is played in 3 rounds with each round having 3 turns. Each turn a player takes 2 hero cards. One card to play face down and one card to discard face down. Cards are then revealed at the same time and resolve each card one at a time with the highest going first. Hero cards that survive go into your tableau. A new round begins after all cards have been played. After the third round, make a set of cards of different story themes out of the cards in your tableau. The player with the most points wins! First, deal out 6 cards to each player at the beginning of each round. Pick up your hand of cards and time to move to the story phase. Let's select this one. Place it face down onto your play area above your taverner and discard this one face down into your discard pile. Your opponents do the same. We'll refer to your opponents as the lion to your left and as the bear to your right. All of you are now ready, so reveal your heroes. You played an 8, the lion played a 1, and the bear played a 7. You activate your card first since it has the highest number. Your card flips a card with a sword on it. Both the lion and bear's active hero has a sword, and you choose the lion's hero to flip. When a card is interacted with, such from attack, counter, or steal, its opponent flips their taverner as well. A flip taverner means there are off limits, they cannot be interacted with. The bear goes next and their hero flips a card face down. Since they cannot choose the line, they choose you to flip your active hero to its coin side. The bear's turn is done. The lion's active hero is flipped face down so their turn is skipped. Now that there's no more heroes to activate, the turn is over. Now players place their heroes into their tableau in a row next to their taverner, keeping it on the same face. Now to the next turn. Your remaining cards are passed to the player to your left so you should have received cards from your right. The turn follows the same by playing cards face down and discarding a card face down. You played a 9, the lion played a 6, and the bear played a 5. So you act first, your hero lets you unflip a coin side card in your tableau to its hero side. Next is the lion player with the 6. Their drink icon activates its tavener special ability. The lion special is, attack an active enemy and then heal a hero in your tableau. The lion player cannot select you because your taverner is face down, so they must select the bear. The bear flips their active hero into their taverner. The lion flips their card in their tableau. 
The bear does not get a turn because their active hero is flipped. All cards are played out. Cards move into their player's tableau, so it's the end of turn two. It's now turn three. Pass your hand to the next player to the left and take the cards from your player to your right. You place a card in the play area and take the last card to the discard. The lion player goes first. Since all enemy taverners are face down, all taverner cards are flipped face up including the active players. Remember, players with a face up taverner can be interacted with. The lion activates their hero's ability to steal a coin from an enemy's tableau. Since the bear has the only coin card, it is taken and placed into the lion's tableau. The bear flips their taverner. Next, there is a tie between you and the bear. If there's a tie, then the player with the most luck goes first. That would be you and you activate your hero. This is a passive ability and increases your hero's initiative by 2. The bear has the same card so it activates it too. All the cards are played out. This is the end of the first round. The new round and the following round is played out in the same way. Deal out 6 cards to each player and the game continues. Hero cards and taverners remain on the same phase into the next round. After the third round, the game ends and scoring begins. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe if you found this content helpful. It would really help us grow the channel. Time to score. This is what you ended with on your tableau. First make sets of up to 5 cards of different story themes including your coin cards. So no repeated symbols and a set can have 5 max cards. Check your taverner to see how much you score on each set. This first set of 5 cards has the perfect score of 15 points. Next is the set of 3 cards scoring you 6 points. Finally, this single card scores you 1 point. Add all of those up for 22 points. Now compare your score with your opponent's scores. The player with the most points wins the game and had the best tale told. If there's a tie, then the player with the most luck wins. If there's still a tie, the player with the least amount of cards in their tableau wins. This concludes the Learn in a Turn video to Tavern Tussle. For more information about this game and others, please visit buegames.com. The Cardboard Stacker likes to thank the game curator for sponsoring this video. And I'd like to thank you for watching. For more videos like these, including how to play and playthroughs, come visit The Cardboard Stacker on YouTube and at our website, thecardboardstacker.com. Thanks again, and as always, I'm here to remind you to keep on stacking games.